Welcome to Cretoni Entertainment. I'm Chris. I'm Bree. We're going to do something different tonight. And I'm Amy. Bree, look, I edited it. You edited it? Oh, oh, what the nuggets? So we're painting, I think his official name is the Black Lion Warrior from Renegade Games Power Rangers Series of the Grid. Uh, I have been given it moderate thought. Moderate thought? Almost no thought. Okay. And uh, I don't think people are coming to our videos for our, our rousing step-by-step Stuff and things? Yeah, I don't think that's why people are here. What are they here for? Uh, unclear. But uh, I don't think it's for us to be getting completely off tangent and then randomly popping and going, by the way, we're using this color for this. So I think we should try for at least a couple of videos uh, actually editing in, what we uh, did? In, a, in, a very, what you did? in a very basic way these steps for what was done on a miniature. And that'll free you and I up to talk about, oh, just everything in the world that we want to talk about. Okay. What are we talking about? Well, let's talk about how much we don't know anything about this ranger. Don't know nothing. We know nothing. Nothing. So one of the things about the new light and darkness or darkness and light or shadow and light or white and black or a fellow game board what? expansion. I don't know. The newest expansion for Heroes of the Grid. Uh, the whole concept is there is uh, all it's rangers it's in right it. there. It's light and darkness. Oh, it's on the thing. <laughs> It's got words. Anyway, uh, I guess the whole concept is that it's uh, rangers who have a good guy version and a bad guy version. So this is the good guy version of the entity known as Dai Shi. Ah. Um, I guess the ranger's name is Jared, and uh, that's it. That's all I know. That's all you know? That's all I got. Okay. Ooh, look, he's shiny. He is. He's got a lot of gold trim on him. Uh, so... Do you know how previously I have said that I kind of make up what I want to do on Power Weapons based off what I think is cool? Yeah. I did that on this whole model. Okay. It's, it's more or less correct. I know the Black Lion Warrior has the gold trim over the black armor, uh, and then that liony crest on the chest yes. um, doesn't get do, is, isn't gold. It's actually black. Right. Uh, and that's that's really kind of where I stopped paying attention to the color scheme of the uniform. No, that's and I just said, I'm just going to go ahead and apply gold everywhere that I kind of think would be fun to apply gold. So that's what I did. So if this is not 100% accurate and you want 100% accuracy, look up a photo of this guy and it'll tell you where to put the gold. But I just kind of put it, well, everywhere that I felt like it. That's legit. And Bree, I like it. And Bree is yawning up a storm over here, which is problematic because everyone knows that yawns are actually contagious. And that is not an old wives' tale. That is actually true. I, yes, it is true. And I apologize. I think I read somewhere once, and I don't know what this study was based off of, but I just decided to believe it. Uh, I think I read somewhere once that uh, yawns, the, the, the belief as to why they are uh, contagious mm -hmm. is because it's believed they create a pressure differentiation, uh, differential in your brain. When you're around somebody who's yawning, it, it subconsciously triggers your brain to think there's a pressure difference between the inside of your head and the outside of your head, and it triggers you to yawn as well. Oh. I've read that before. Okay. Or, or maybe I made it up. I'm not actually sure. Ah, you know what? But hey, it uh, sounds scientific enough for me to appreciate it. So this go is for a, it. this is a random moment where we can talk about the miniature. Step three here: we mixed up our own custom color. Oh, did you now? Yeah, and we applied it to the the black line on the chest just to give it a little just to give it a little definition. So yeah, if you're so, wondering so. if you're wondering what we're doing there instead of just leaving it black, uh, putting on the raised areas of the line kind of was pop a little more. But we don't have to actually talk about the colors because we put step three on the thing, and also. All of the colors and materials are in the description below. What did you just do to the light? Unclear. I almost knocked it over my hole. There's something under it. Oh, dear God. Oh, man. This light is in stop. terrible shape. You stop. I just record me attacking people. Ah, oh, it's in my face. <laughs> oh, my God. My eyes. <laughs> what is happening? So we're also doing something else. We're using a different camera angle for this video. The first, and you were still getting your thumb. Uh, not as badly as I normally do. Okay. <laughs> And that, boys and girls, is the primary goal of Tony Entertainment. It's not as bad as it used to be. Yeah, some people are like, let me just be 10% better than before. I'm like, you know what? Let's take even more baby steps than that. Let's go for like Two percent. half a percent. Ooh, half. Half a percent better half than a percent. before. Yeah, that's, um, you know. Like I've said before, we have an actual Tony Entertainment logo. And I've told you the other day that I'm pretty sure I know where the disc containing it is. Yep. So tonight, to do a half a percent better than usual, I actually thought about going to look for it. <coughs> okay, and how'd that work out? No, that's where it stopped. Oh, yeah. I just, yep. thought, I just <laughs> thought about it. Now, next time, maybe I'll turn that into action. Mm. Mm, we'll mm. see what happens. So yeah, I, I have not put money on that one. I have nothing good to say about this guy. I have nothing bad to say about this guy. 
I don't know anything about this guy. He's just a lion man. Hey, there's my yawn. Yep. Um, I haven't even come up with uh, rules for him for Age of the Grid yet because I don't know any of his power. Isn't he in um, Heroes of the Grid? Well, Heroes of the Grid would be the the game that this came out of, yes. Battle for the Grid. Battle for the Grid, yes. He is in Battle for the Grid. We should go play Battle for the Grid then and see what he does. Remember that time that we had an in-house tournament for Battle for the Grid? Yeah. So we decided to have a tournament in our house for Battle for the Grid, and none of us know what we're doing. We're just, we're just button but, mash. But Chris, now, Chris is a better button smasher because he actually can train his fingers to do... To actually hit the buttons? The, the, the combo buttons, whereas Julian and I suck. I was more referring to we played you and I played one match in our little mock family tournament. Yeah. Where I played uh, I forget what the rest of my team was. Because you get to choose three 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 people. Three. You get yeah, to three. three members and there's a there's a mix of good guys and bad and, guys. And your your Megazord. Yes. So you, you could choose like Megazord or Mega Goldar. That was not relevant in the slightest. I like just this. thought in case I, somebody was wondering I picked, and it is Christmas timing. So maybe they might want to like take some Christmas money and go buy it for themselves. It is an entertainingly broken fighting game. Yes, it, it is. is not balanced in the slightest, and that's no, fantastic. It is not. But uh, I was more referring to that one match we had that was just like the the match that will never happen again. I don't even remember all three of my members. I just remember it was anchored by Lord Zed. Yeah. I don't know what the heck happened, but I was in some kind of crazy zone in this match, and it was just an absolute flawless victory. Of Zed just destroying every member of Bree's team and never even took a single hit. Don't, it was absolutely insane. Okay. I have no idea he how it happened. Took some hits. No, he didn't. He took no hits in that matchup. How did he, he take went no through. Hits? He did went I through suck all. That badly? He went through all of your characters. Now it's not that you suck that badly because we've had plenty of matches where we absolutely annihilate each other. Oh yeah, yeah. For some reason that I was just in the zone that moment with Zed, I was just channeling the Emperor of Evil there and just absolutely wailed on your dudes, and it was funny. Uh, was it funny, or did I get angry and want to throw things? Well, you're a poor sport. I mean, that's... That's, that's why, actually, that's why the battle reports are uh, slow coming. Why? It's because Bree is a bad sport. That's, she saw that her yawn triggered my yawn, so instead of saying anything, she I just was, stood I, there I, like a butthead. Well, because, you know what, you were criticizing me and saying I was a bad sport. I was when criticizing I you. Don't be a butthead. you got to keep the radio going. <laughs> Well, I was trying to wonder where you were going with this whole, you're going to blame it being slow going for the battle reports on me. You get mad when we play tabletop games because I, okay, I'm a 20 year tabletop gamer. I don't play as much now as I used to when I was younger, but Bree plays even less. Bree plays a handful of games a year. Yeah. And she plays one game after not playing for nine months of a certain game and then gets mad that she didn't do as well as somebody who plays it every week or every couple of weeks. And, okay, in my defense, he also plays it in his head, too. I do not play it in my head. I, actually, I have not in years, actually. He used to. He used to. I used to have nothing better to do with my time, but now I make videos. <laughs> he used to disappear also there's, somewhere. Also, there's, also there's kids. Yeah, the kid, the kids. The I kid. literally never disappeared somewhere just to contemplate tabletop war games. I no, no, it somewhere. wasn't the... It was a, you would go in to like paint or work on something and you would come out and you'd be like, nope, this isn't going to work because you'd like have an idea and you'd come out and go, nope, to, this isn't going to work. I went through the, the statistics. It's just, it's not going to work. To be fair. The roles aren't going to work. To be fair, I also listen to a lot of podcasts. You, you, <laughs> you do. Did. Did. I, I, I haven't since I got my new phone because I forgot to activate my podcast app on it and I'm just too lazy to do it. Are you flipping kidding me? Yeah, that's the reason I haven't missed it. Actually, that's the reason I'm 100 episodes behind on Hello from the Magic Tavern. It's because I've been too lazy to upload my podcast thing to my new phone. You hurt my soul. Anyway, like, you hurt and, my whole soul. like and subscribe for more content. Hit the bell button for notifications. This is the first of our videos where we don't really talk about the model, and you actually have to read the screen, look at the things that we're doing. But I don't think you're going to. Let us know if you like this format. Put it in the comments. And also... This is the Black Lion Warrior. We got to make up some rules for Age of the Grid. We need to play some Age of the Grid. If you want to see Bree play a war game, put it in the comments. Put something in the comments. I don't know. That's really all I have Chris to say. Chris just wants you to comment. Yeah, he I, would like. He, want, he wants people to talk to him. It makes me think. I, I have, not me. It makes me think I have friends. That's dark. Why are we still looking at the? Why is this still? Going? I made the photo longer than usual <laughs> so you can see the model. Bye.